OCNI is an Armenian-based organization that focuses on creating advanced well-being and bionic solutions for amputees to empower them. So OCNI was formed as a result of the war uh, in Armenia in 2020. Because of the war, there were a lot of especially young people who had a lot of uh, amputations. So a lot of amp young amputees were facing a very big dilemma of having no access to good prosthetics, of not having prosthetics that actually customize to them so that they can actually feel comfortable in them and feel confident in them. Um, as well as, especially for uh, people in rural areas, they were especially like, cut off from basic uh, prosthetic services. The situation in Armenia is that um, actually, unfortunately, no one cared so much about upper limb prosthesis. And there are some companies who what they do is they import uh, prosthesis from Russia, from China. Even if you get the prosthesis, like after two, three weeks, it's broken, you see the skin. I like, we even tried to have double, see, double cover for this, but <laughs> both of them just didn't work out. My hope is very simple, to have a good quality prosthesis from our bionics, and then that it is included in the, uh, in the governmental certificate that they have, and we have the access to get it. So that's, that's my hope. That's maybe a dream, <laughs> but I think it will come true. We're developing customized processes for each patient and uh, for that we need uh, high accuracy in our customization of the products. For that we are using 3D scanning. The way we work is we invite the patient uh, over or we actually sometimes even go to the patient's uh, house or meet him at our office or anywhere where it suits him because the 3D scanner is very mobile. Uh, once, once we've met up with him, we have a conversation with him about uh, his interests. Uh, for example, we had one patient who was really into like gothic uh, culture and was like, okay, then we're probably going to put like a skull on that. Then in the next step, we actually do the scanning. We scan both the healthy leg and the amputated leg. Of course, in the case of a double amputee, we basically just like scan both uh, amputated legs. Scanning of both legs never takes longer than five minutes. Then we um, do the post-processing, and then in the next stage, we can actually mirror the scan, uh, meaning that we basically cut the scan in the middle, and then we can mirror the healthy leg onto the prosthetic leg, so that we get the dimensions and a, be a better understand how the prosthetic cover, what the shape should be of the prosthetic cover. Then we can actually move on to the 3D modeling aspect of the cover. So now we have the dimensions, we know exactly where the fixing uh, mechanism should be. Now it's just about design. And then on the final stage, we print it and we fit it to the patient. AVA 3D scanner was very much a game changer. Before we had to do everything manually, but the 3D scanning solution by Artec 3D allows us to have a much higher accuracy. So it allows us to really integrate the whole shape of the healthy leg and for it to be very symmetrical. The digital process gives you three main advantages. It's convenience, speed and comfort. Uh, the convenience aspect is really that it, our solution is very mobile. So no one has to carry a lot of like gips materials with them. You can do this pretty much anywhere. You can do this um, really much like very close to where the, um, where the patient was hurt. You can even go to the patient's home and actually scan them there to even add uh, additional comfort. Uh, the second aspect is speed. So you don't have any uh, drying time between the mold. And finally, and this is also very important, is the comfort. So the comfort of the patient. The very first stage, uh, whatever we do, is we use uh, the Artex Studio 16. So we use all the functionalities there because they're amazing. So we could, of course, do the same thing with SolidWorks, but it would take us much longer or any other software. 